Welcome to this first season of Culture Change Rx. Culture, by definition, might be as simple as this is how we do things around here. And if you want things to get better, you want your results to get better, you want the experience for patients and employees to get better, you have to change. This is how we do things around here. CEOs, all good CEOs anyway, are going to deflect the the importance of of our roles in the organization because it's it's not about us. Um, mm-hmm. But also in reality, we also understand that it, it, it starts with us. And, yeah. and good or good or bad, you know, if you've got a really good culture in an organization, uh, it, it starts at the top. And and if you don't, it starts at the top. I'm excited to be your host. I'm Sue Tetzloff. As the co-founder of Capstone Leadership Solutions, for the last 12 years, I've had the joy and delight of working side by side dozens of healthcare organizations to help them on a journey of cultural transformation. Before that, I was an insider 22 years working as a healthcare executive, primarily in small and rural hospitals. And what I've learned is that mediocrity can be replaced by greatness, that we can be the employer of choice, we can be the provider of choice. There's things that we need to do with our buildings and our technologies and our processes, but most of all, we can't miss the important part of the things we need to do with the cultures in our organizations. But the biggest thing with my relationship with my fellow leaders, that we were all in it together, we learned, things together. We we worked on goals together. We worked on strategy together. We were in it. They had my back. I had theirs. There was no silos. There was no pointing fingers. It was, we are a team, not my team in the ED or the ICU, but we as leaders. So through each episode, we're going to be exploring tactics, tools, ideas, things that are working to transform in good ways the cultures of healthcare organizations. So in my mind, we've been saying all of our lives that our people are our greatest asset, but no one thinks the financial officer has any role in the people. But that doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, so absolutely, I think our people are, are so important. I think every financial officer should be thinking about what we can do to protect our largest asset in our organizations. We're going to have a variety of guests. We're going to have some guests that are our capstone coaches. So these are also very experienced healthcare executives that also serve as transformational coaches, working side by side healthcare organizations that are navigating that journey from good to great and great to even greater. And some of our guests are going to be those healthcare executives that we know are making it happen right on the inside. They are those insiders on this journey to excellence. So when people work in the organization have personal high self-esteem, they feel good about themselves, good about they're in the right place because this is the kind of work they want to do about the mission. They want to take care of patients. That's culture at its best. As well, we'll find some industry experts to join us and I'll be sprinkling in some mini doses of short episodes so that you never have to go a week without a beneficial dose of Culture Change Rx.